Hey everyone, my name is Slick, welcome to another video. In today's guide, we're going to be covering the main currency of Elyon, gold. We'll go over what it's used for and how to earn it. I will not be going over the market as I want to cover how to earn gold directly and not from selling drops or other materials. Now before we continue, if you'd be so kind as to subscribe and hit the bell, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Now gold is used in many ways, I'm going to cover a few. It's used to enhance gear, polish and upgrade runestones, go into the dimensional portals. Just about every other feature in Elyon uses some amount of gold. Rest assured that I'm going to give you all of the ways that I know of to earn gold in Elyon. Just how I mentioned that gold is used in many ways, it's also going to be earned in many ways. One of those ways is to create a new character and play through the main story up until about 35, as gold is shared across all of your characters. This will net you a few hundred thousand gold and it's great for people who are wanting to run alts while farming for their main. One of my favorite methods of earning gold is through the PvP arenas. For every 2v2 you win, you'll earn 3,000 gold, and every 3v3 you win, you'll earn 5,000 gold. You can play arenas as many times as you want per day, and also keep in mind that there's a metal system that you can earn other rewards with as well. You can only earn a certain amount per day, but these rewards are definitely worth grinding for. Another way to earn gold is completing deliveries. In your house, there's a craft delivery merchant. You'll be offered multiple jobs where you can turn in items to earn house tokens and gold. A lot of the items that he's wanting you to deliver can be crafted easily through the many crafting stations in your house. While playing Elyon, you're going to earn a few different colored gargoyle stones. Each of these can be refined at a different crafting station, and the byproduct is also something that can be delivered to the merchant. When crafting items, some will require rare grade materials. These materials are typically offered with crafting the uncommon materials, but only when it's considered a major success will you receive the rare grade ones. After crafting the requested items, you can go ahead and turn them in and you'll receive your rewards. These listings will refresh every 10 minutes after you complete an order. There's a special offer if you click the top left, but it only lasts a short time and you should expect it to require a larger amount of items. Another way to earn gold is through completing Radiant Treasure Maps. You can combine 10 treasure map fragments to receive one of these. However, if you're really strapped for gold, keep in mind that these do cost 10,000 to create. To trade these in, go to a general goods merchant and you can purchase either a rare or an epic treasure map. The rare map will offer less rewards but be easier to figure out, while the epic one will offer more rewards but be more difficult. You will need a treasure hunt exploration tool, but that can also be bought at the merchant. Keep in mind that these are timed and be sure to pay attention to the sound that's being played while you're hunting. I'll give you an example of what it sounds like when you're in the right area. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time, you have 10 tries, and the tool is only consumed if you successfully get it. One of the simplest ways to make gold is by doing your daily quests. You're given 20 quest letters per day to use on any daily quest of your choosing. These can be very beneficial and even offer mana XP along with other kinds of rewards to help you throughout the game. Keep in mind that in the realm versus realm quests, they will offer higher rewards but will be more dangerous. When you're going into enemy territory, be careful not to go near the towns as you will most likely get one-shotted by the guards and defenses. I've experienced this many times. You can go to your map and then you can scroll through all of the quests that are there just so you can see what the highest rewards are for you. My last recommendation that I'm going to give is going to the Dimensional Portal Weekly Exiles Isle. You can earn gold through farming mobs, but the main gold here is earned by killing other players. In Exiles Isle, there is a black market merchant that will appear, and he will buy the hearts that you get from defeating the other realm players. Keep in mind that every black market merchant only purchases a certain amount of hearts, so you may need to traverse the map to reach the other black market merchants. You can earn a lot of gold here. If you're going to come here, I recommend you roaming with a party, as that's how you can guarantee the most success. Now I know I've covered plenty of ways to make Golden Elyon, but keep in mind there's many other ways you can go about earning it that I have not covered. This is just what's worked for me, and I can guarantee that these methods will help fill your pockets after you've just dumped 250,000 gold on upgrading and polishing runes just for them to fail at tier 5. Sad days. Thank you for watching. I hope this guide covers enough information to give you a better understanding of Elyon's many systems and features. If you enjoy what I do, please consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Please comment below what guide you think I should do next. I'll most likely follow this video up with a part 2 in the future to provide more advanced methods of grabbing gold. I'm really enjoying covering Elyon's features 
and I'm happy to continue to share my knowledge to help you understand Elyon on a deeper level. If you're watching this on the day of release, I may be streaming. Feel free to come by and say hi. I'll leave a link in the description and the comment section. Happy grinding on Elyon, guys. Peace.